Hey everyone, this is Heather here and this is going to be a quick video on how to use our uh, crypto dashboards to swing trade uh, different cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin uh, and a few others. So this video is going to be about uh, swing trading. We are going to have another video for intraday trading as well. And so what you, you can see here is we've gone uh, to the crypto dashboard uh, under this ticket dashboards and we've opened up the chart and it starts for uh, Bitcoin. If, you, if you've seen some of our videos on stocks dashboard and our introduction to trading uh, uh, crash course, then you'll understand what uh, all of these things are. But if you haven't, then just, just know that these are moving averages. So the one that the one that closer to the price, that's closer to the price is 20 moving average and the one that's uh, slightly far off is the 50 moving average. Then we have the volume here. We have technical indicators. This is RSI. This is MACD. Then we, we can also use some other technical indicator indicators such as stochastics. And then this orange line is called anchored VWAP. We have a tutorial on uh, technical analysis in our introduction to trading crash course. Please uh, find it on, on our YouTube channel. We'll also link it uh, in the description of this video. Please watch that to understand how this line works. But this sort of acts as a really good support and resistance level. Again, if you're new and you don't even know what support and resistance level are, uh, we'll link the introduction to trading crash course in, in the description of this video. Please watch that. But we are going to assume that you know about all of these things and we are just going to give you a few tips on how to uh, swing trade a uh, cryptocurrency is one thing that uh, I want to mention here is that uh, contrary to stocks many cryptocurrencies work really well with technical analysis and that th that could be f for for various reasons that I won't discuss in, th in this video but just know that whenever you see a technical setup on the chart for any cryptocurrency that usually works quite well so crypto is a really good uh, market to trade using technical analysis and technical indicators and support and resistance lines and all kinds of stuff we are so we are going to go over this chart and find out some uh, entry and exits so let's say we started here we were here let's say in december uh, 2020 we wanted to invest in uh, btc this was a uh, it was uh, at around 23k let's say we, we will wait a little bit the, the price keeps going up as you can see here so whenever the price is far off from the 20 and 50 moving average we do not want to buy like make that a, as a rule if you don't want to uh, lose a lot of money you always want to buy when the price is very close to either the 20 moving average or it's between the 20 and 50 moving average and the trend is up so let's see, we are here, the price is far off from the 20 moving average. Now you can see we, we come here and now the 20 moving average is actually acting as a support level. Let's see, you can see here, it is acting as, as a support level. So this, right, this line, this might have been a good entry because this is a support level. But if you had entered here at about, let's say, actually 35, 30, 30K, you can see that we actually went down again. So at this level, we can see that we went down and what's this level? This level is the 50 moving average. So you should always know that the 20 and 50 moving averages, even the nine moving average, uh, act, uh, act as support and resistance levels. If you are in an uptrend, then they act as support levels. If you're in a downtrend, then they act as resistance levels. So we can see that this acted as a really good support level. So you could have just bought here as well. So about, uh, about at 30, 30K. If you had done that, then right now you would be up from 30k to about 58k so about 25 to 28k profit per bitcoin just by looking at some moving averages and and getting an entry right there if you have bought if you had bought here here then you would only be up about 15 to 18k but if you had actually waited for a good setup there is always a good setup on the chart all you have to do is have some patience since there are so many new traders in crypto what they do is as soon as they see some hype for, for any ticker they just go in and they lose a lot of money because those when there is enough hype then that means that those uh, cryptocurrencies are also sometimes overextended so please do not do that especially if you're swing trading always wait for the right setup to, to be there on the chart so this this would have been a good entry this would have been a good entry as well i have to be a realist here when you are uh, doing this in real time you, you don't really know whether the price is going to go up or down so you, you should always look to enter either on the 20 or the 50 moving average 
all right so let's remove this then again from here we, we went up so you, you you should not have bought here from here to here you could have bought here why because one we were pretty close to the 20 moving average and two we actually had a breakout here a really good breakout with slightly higher volume where we had this resistance level we crossed it and we went uh, above it so wh whenever again we are breaking uh, any resistance level with some volume with cryptocurrencies it usually works well with stock sometimes it works well sometimes it doesn't but with crypto more often than not it works it works well so then we, you could have entered here as well so this this would have been your entry as well if you had entered here again at about 45 maybe at about 42 41 then you would have gone here and then we have a dip now the next entry would have been here why because we have an anchored VWAP again you need to watch our other videos on anchored VWAP to understand what this is when you have an anchored VWAP from the last uh, low, uh, low uh, point then that anchored VWAP acts as a support level which we can see how beautifully it did here let me actually zoom out look at this this is beautiful so the, the support level was not the 50 moving average not the 20 moving average it was the anchored VWAP so again with crypto these things are actually quite sort of clean there are clean supports there are clean resistance levels so it's easy to trade it using a technical analysis so this would have been an entry then we went up again now we, we don't want to buy here or we don't want to buy here because we are extended from the 20 moving average and please know that we always come back to the 20 moving average always on especially on the daily chart then we can see that we went here we, we came back again look at where we stopped we stopped at the 50 moving average so you can see how nice the uptrend in bitcoin has been if there is ever a downtrend it's going to be like it's going to be very similar as well it's going to be nice clean hopefully then we can see that we this was a huge drawdown so we can see that from about 62 63 we went to about 48 but look at where we stopped we stopped at the anchored VWAP. so you so all you are looking at are these three support levels and whenever the price falls onto these levels you are trying to add to your position so let's say your, your first position was here let's say you start a small position here uh, on this uh, since this is the the first support level always start with a small position then let's say we, we go down so you add just a little bit onto your position here then here you are going to add a little bit more and if we actually close below it and actually keep going below it then you're just going to exit out of your position because now we have broken all three support levels so so that's again that's a way to uh, that's a way to find really good uh, entry exits using just simple technical analysis techniques. Let's see if we have something else. So I'm going to clear these things out. And I've been trying all these support and instance levels myself. This anchored VWAP was drawn automatically by the platform. Let's see if we can draw some support and instance lines. We actually can. So this is our algorithm. That's that's a proprietary algorithm that looks at the price action to draw the support and resistance lines for you actually. And you can see that these were really beautiful lines. So let's and they actually work. So this was the first support and resistance line when the price is going uh, up and it touches this level, then it is going to act as a resistance. So you can see that we went above and then we came down. So this was a decent resistance line when you reach a resistance line you should just get, uh, exit if you if you have let's say good enough profits if you're a long-term investor obviously you're going to keep the position then we can see that we broke out of this uh, line and this was a breakout so you you'll enter here and then in the next resistance line again we will tip down so you would have exited here then we can see that this acted as a support line here so we went up but finally, we actually broke this support line. Now it is going to act as a resistance line. We finally just broke this line as well. But you can see that we have a slight uh, resistance here as well. So let's wait before we actually go above that line and before we now enter again. So that was just some quick uh, analysis on uh, Bitcoin and how in the last few months you could have found some really good entry and exits. You, you shouldn't chase like there is no need to chase when this uh, when you know how to read price action all you need to do is wait for a dip wait for a good support level and then get in and then whenever a resistance is hit just get out 
uh, so again this is we are talking about swing trading here you can also see that if you are a big fan of stochastics when the stochastics fall to let's say anything less than 10 or 20 you can see that we have a dip then we have a dip here as well so you can actually use this with just looking at stochastics or rsi or anything else let's see i think bollinger bands work really well as well again technical analysis with crypto is usually easier so we can see that whenever we are going above the bollinger bands we come down when we go below this lower bollinger band then we go up then we here we actually don't follow the pattern but here we go down then we go up we touch this one we go up we go above the the, the upper one then we go down go up here go down so you can see this is pretty clean price action and if you just know a little bit about technical analysis and you're interested in crypto you would have been able to uh, really garner some decent profits so let's quickly go over eth now this is my favorite cryptocurrency so right now as we just discussed this is not the point to buy if you buy here just just note the time right now this is may 2nd if you buy here i am 90 percent confident that you are going to be in a loss in just a few days maybe in one or two weeks eventually long term yeah i think this is going to go up so you'll still be profitable but if you're swing trading especially if you're trading for let's say a few few weeks to up to let's say one month then you're going to have loss so please do not do that you can see that even here we always look at here we fall on the 20 moving average we fall on the 20 moving average 20 moving average then we fall right below the 50 moving average but look at this we have a, su a support level here so we don't we, we we did not go below it then again right on the anchor vwap then again 50 moving average again 20 and 50 moving average and then we are going up then again let's see some breakouts so this this was the resistance level we had a breakout here so you you would have entered here we actually did we, we alerted alerted this to all our platform members you enter here and then you just wait because the price never went below this level now because it was a support level you go up down and now from about 2k you are sitting at 3k so about thousand dollars profit in just just a few days actually so again this is how you can uh, do some quick uh, analysis using our tradex platform uh, in order to find some really good uh, swing trading ideas let's see if we have anything else let's see the Again, we have this line this line this is a decent uh, support line you always want to draw your own lines as well but let the algorithm draw some lines for you as well if you want to change this anchored vwap or any of these values you can just go here and let's see change the anchored vwap so now this is from this point let's see now this is from this point so you can change the anchored vwap using the, this value so let's actually do 37 All right, and you can see that from this point in time let me just add let me just make it 40 so from the from the law from the last law you can see how beautifully we have uh, respected this anchor we have right here here, here 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 and all the way up so this would have been a great support level as well when we went down so again just just a very quick tutorial on how to do really really good with swing trading cryptocurrencies these are much easier uh, swing trading with crypto at least in my opinion is much easier than swing trading stocks so if you're interested in crypto please watch this video and please spend some time learning learning technical analysis just just, just some uh, beginner level technical analysis and could be apps moving averages support and instance lines and you would be pretty happy with uh, how, how many how, how much profits you can make uh, in just a small amount of time uh, just to give you an example of how well this works so uh, personally I, I i did about two to three k in ethereum at about 400 and then at about uh, 2k and the ethereum is up about a, a, in total 400 to 500 percent in the last few months in my own portfolio so this this really works uh, this is like something that has been tested by me personally as well so please uh, I, I hope you you going to learn from this video and then you're going to use the the lessons here to do uh, your own trading and uh, profit really well so best of luck uh, uh, crypto is a really cool space i'm really bullish on crypto in, in the long run 
and that's why i wanted to create a video and that's why we have it in platform so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in some other video bye